Mm, I was talking with friends. Mm, my cousin from Naples was there too. Uh, I was visiting with her. She's my favorite cousin. Oh, okay, I'm glad you had a good time. Linda, what were you and your sister listening to at the New Year's Eve party? We were li listening to rock and roll. Uh, we were dancing with handsome boys. We had a wonderful time. Oh, that's great. What were you doing on Saturday, Alberto? Mm, I was helping my friend buy a birthday present. They are having a, a surprise party for her mother. Okay, good. Linda, what were you and your mother doing? Uh, we were looking for a restaurant for the reception. Uh, my co cousin is having a big wedding. Very good. Sylvia, what were you doing on Saturday? I was helping my friend with his homework. He had an anniversary party to go to. All right, wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Henry was cooking the food for the wedding reception. My father was searching for a new computer for my brother's birthday. The girls were dancing at the reception. The family was preparing for the anniversary party. Read and repeat. Time clauses. Now let's finish our lesson with time clauses. Before we begin, let's review what a time clause is. A clause is a group of words that have a subject and a verb. It is usually only part of a sentence. A time clause begins with words such as when, while, before, and after. So when, while, before, and after. In a sentence with a time clause, there is usually a main clause too. Many different tenses can be used in sentences with time clauses. We will look at two types of these sentences. The first is sentences where each clause has a verb in the simple past. For example, when he finished his cake, he left the reception. After the bride cried, the groom asked her to dance. It started to rain when the birthday party began. Now let's look at these sentences more closely. When he finished his cake, he left the reception. When he finished his cake is the time clause, or dependent clause, we can say. He left the reception is the main clause. It can stand by itself. Next example. After the bride cried, the groom asked her to dance. After the bride cried is the dependent clause, or the time clause. It's dependent on the main clause, which is, the groom asked her to dance. It's the main clause because it can stand on its own. Next example. It started to rain when the birthday party began. It started to rain is the main clause. When the birthday party began is the time clause. So if a sentence begins with a time clause, there must be a comma between the time clause and the main clause. For example, if we say, after the bride cried, we must have a comma after the time clause before we add the main clause. The groom asked her to dance. So after the bride cried, comma, 
The groom asked her to dance. All right, now let's practice time clauses. What did you do after your cousin's wedding reception, Alberto? Mm, I went home after my cousin's wedding reception. Mm, I was very tired. Okay, Sylvia, what did you do before your brother's wedding? Before he had his wedding, I helped him choose a place for their honeymoon. They went to the Bahamas. That was a good choice. Alberto, what did you do when you learned your parents were having a surprise birthday party for you? When I learned that, I started to cry because it was uh, my first surprise birthday party. I was very happy. Oh, yes, that was very nice. All right, good job, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Judy cried when her boyfriend proposed. The parents were angry when their daughter eloped. Before the anniversary party started, the couple took many photos. We had a big mess to clean after the New Year's party finished. Read and repeat. We can also use the past continuous in time clauses. Let's have a look at some examples. While the groom was dancing, the bride was smoking a cigarette. When the child arrived, his friends were wrapping his birthday present. After the anniversary party finished, the couple was arguing in the kitchen. The singer cried while she was singing the wedding march. In these sentences, the simple past and the past continuous are used. While means the same as, at the same time as. The past continuous must be used in a time clause introduced by while. The verb in the main clause can be simple past or past continuous. Let's look again at those sentences. While the groom was dancing, the bride was smoking a cigarette. While the groom was dancing is a time clause in the past continuous. The bride was smoking a cigarette is the main clause in the past continuous. Next example. The singer cried while she was singing the wedding march. The singer cried, main clause is in the simple past. While she was singing the wedding march, the time clause is in the past continuous. So usually, the past continuous is action that is continuing, and the simple past is an action that happens in the middle of it. It kind of interrupts it. For example, I was sleeping when you called me. Sleeping is something that we do for some time. I was sleeping and all of a sudden my sleep was interrupted because someone called me. Okay, let's use the past continuous in time clauses. Linda, what do you think your father was doing when he proposed to your mother? First, I think he was kneeling when he proposed to my mother. Uh, and second, my mother cried while he was proposing to her. I'm sure of that. Okay, very good. Alberto, what was your sister doing when you opened the door to your surprise birthday party? She was screaming, happy birthday, uh, when I opened the door to my party. Okay, I'm sure you had a great time. Sylvia, what were you doing before Alberto's party? I was studying at home before his party. I wasn't invited. I just met Alberto. 
Oh, that's too bad. I will invite you to my next party. Okay, good idea. Very good, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The band played while the couples were dancing at the reception. When the music stopped, everyone was singing. After the man bought the diamond ring, he was thinking it was too expensive. While Tom was buying the engagement ring, his girlfriend was eating lunch. Read and repeat. Review. Now let's do an exercise using time clauses. Fill in the blanks with when, before, after, or while. Okay? Okay. All right, Alberto, the first one's for you. Mm hmm. The wedding, reception, finish, comma, there's your clue. The couple went on their honeymoon. What do you think, Alberto? That's easy. After the wedding reception finished, the couple went on their honeymoon. Very good. After the wedding reception finished, the couple went on their honeymoon. Good. Next example, the best man was drinking. Mm -hmm. The bride asked him to dance. Isn't he supposed to ask the bride to dance? Sylvia, what do you think? The best man was drinking when the bride asked him to dance. Very good. The best man was drinking when the bride asked him to dance. Okay, another example, the shop owner was talking to another customer. Mm -hmm. Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. This one's for you, Linda. Okay. <clears throat> the shop owner was talking to another customer while Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. Very good. The shop owner was talking to another customer while Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. All right. Very good. Let's do one more exercise with time clauses. I'm going to give you each a sentence, and you can correct it or tell me it's correct. Okay? Okay. 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 Linda, this one is for you. While I ate at the reception, the bride was dancing. Um, that's wrong. While I was eating at the reception, the bride was dancing. Yes, very good. We usually use the continuous tense with while. All right, Sylvia, this one's for you. When the child opened his birthday present, he was surprised to find a new football. You must use comma after the time clause. So, when the child opened his birthday present, comma, he was surprised to find a new football. Very good. Alberto, you do the last one. Jack wasn't surprised when Alice accepted the engagement ring. I think that's a good sentence. Okay, I think you're a good student. You're right. Thank you all. Now it's time to listen and write. 
Listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. We aren't going to the wedding before one o'clock.